We continue to follow a story about a pumpkin that caught fire, burning two people, including a child in Virginia Beach. Fire crews were called to Polk Drives after 8 o'clock last night. A 42 year old man and four year old girl suffered extensive burns. Joe Fisher's on your side tonight with an update and a warning from the fire department, Joe. Well, Tom Nicole, carving pumpkins has become a tradition for so many of us, but the festive fall activity has landed two people in the burn unit after what appears to be a freak accident. The Halloween spirit is alive outside this home on Polk Drive in Virginia Beach. Sadly, what happened inside will likely haunt this family forever. Well, what happened on Thursday was a tragic accident. There's no way they could have prepared for it. But we Amy Valdez with the Virginia Beach Fire Department says a fun night took a bad turn as the family gathered around to see their hard work. The pumpkin was kind of um, being held by the gentleman as he was trying to light it. Fire investigators say the 42 year old man used a grill lighter to illuminate the jack o' lantern. Soon after, built up butane fumes ignited, setting fire to the clothes of the man and a four year old girl. So the pumpkin itself is an enclosed space, especially this pumpkin because it was etched and not completely carved. So as you're trying to light the lighter, you, this could happen to you even in a candle. It's one of many Halloween related emergencies the fire department has responded to. They say it's around this time of year when their calls for service start to go up. So we always suggest flashlights or battery powered lights for your pumpkins and for your Halloween decorations to avoid that. Investigators say the adult man suffered second degree burns to his abdomen and groin area. The young girl left with burns to her upper body, face, shoulder and arms. We expect both of them to have a, a good recovery. Unfortunately, burn injuries are, are really tragic. They're very painful. They take a long time to heal. It'll be a long road for them to deal with it. And there's no word right now on how long it'll take those two victims to recover. Meantime, the Virginia Beach Fire Department has officially declared this fire an accident. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.